Have you ever walked into a job interview, sweaty palms, racing heart, and wondered how on earth you can make a lasting first impression? It's a common fear, isn't it? After all, first impressions are incredibly important, especially in a job interview. You've got a limited window to showcase your potential, your personality, your passion. But what if I told you there's a way to make that first impression a memorable one? A way to introduce yourself that sets the tone for the rest of the interview? It's not about rehearsed answers or fake smiles. It's about authenticity, clarity and connection. You see, it's a misconception that you need to be someone else to impress. You don't. What you need is the right tool, the right technique to introduce yourself effectively. And that's exactly what we're going to explore today. Well, we've got you covered. Prepare to leave that nervousness at the door and step into the room with confidence. A powerful tool often overlooked is the elevator pitch. Yes, that's right. A concise, impactful introduction in the time it takes for an elevator ride. Picture this. You step into an elevator with a potential employer and you've got approximately 30 seconds to make an impression. That's your elevator pitch. So what is an elevator pitch? Simply put, it's a succinct and persuasive sales pitch. But don't let the term sales deter you. You're not selling a product, you're selling yourself, your skills and your potential. Now let's break down the anatomy of an effective elevator pitch. It consists of three key components who you are, what you do, and what you're seeking in a job. First, who you are. This isn't your life story, but a brief introduction, your name, and perhaps a tidbit that sets you apart from others. Next, what you do. This should focus on your skills and experiences and how they align with the job you're applying to. Lastly, what you're seeking. This is your chance to express your career ambitions and how they align with the company's goals. But why is the elevator pitch so effective? Because it's concise, clear, and leaves an impression. It allows you to control your narrative and present yourself in the best light possible. Remember, your elevator pitch isn't a robotic script, it's your personal story. Make it count. You may be asking, what's the big deal about an elevator pitch? Let's delve into that. Imagine walking into an interview and instead of fumbling for words or rambling on endlessly, you confidently deliver a succinct yet comprehensive introduction of yourself. That's the power of a well-prepared elevator pitch. You see, it saves precious time, allowing you to communicate your skills and experiences effectively in a few short sentences. Moreover, it demonstrates clarity of thought. By distilling your career narrative into a concise pitch, you show your potential employer that you're focused, you understand your unique selling points, and you know exactly what you bring to the table. But perhaps the most significant benefit lies in the first impression you make. A strong elevator pitch leaves a lasting imprint, setting a positive tone for the rest of your interview. It's your chance to make them remember you. An elevator pitch not only introduces you effectively, but also sets a positive tone for the rest of your interview. Let's put this into action. Imagine you're in an elevator with the CEO of your dream company. You have 60 seconds to make an impression, to sell yourself. Your pitch might begin something like this. I am a passionate marketing professional with over five years of experience in creating compelling brand stories. My unique approach combines data-driven insights with creative flair, resulting in campaigns that truly resonate with the target audience. Now, this elevator pitch could be adapted to different roles or industries. If you're an engineer, for example, you might say, I am a dedicated engineer with a knack for problem solving. I have a proven track record in designing innovative solutions that enhance efficiency and improve overall system performance. The key here is to highlight your unique skills and experiences and how they align with the company's values and goals. And remember, practice makes perfect. Take some time to craft your own elevator pitch, refine it, and rehearse it until it becomes second nature. So when you're in that job interview and you get the question, tell me about yourself, you're ready. You're not just giving a generic answer, you're telling a story, your story. And it's one that leaves a lasting impression, setting you apart from the crowd. So the next time you're asked, tell me about yourself, you know exactly what to say. Ready to ace that interview?